highest good future. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 563. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. Welcome back, Jay again, and this is our January 1st, 2024 edition, our weekly progress update, and I want to say Happy New Year, and I want to talk about the highest good future. What a wonderful topic to talk about uh, for New Year's Day, because this is the future that we have available to us. If we'd like to embrace it, we have the ability to create a highest good future. Right now, I think most people recognize that the world is operating mostly on a model of competition um, and capitalism versus contribution and collaboration and cooperation. And one community is creating an alternative for that. We see that it is time for a comprehensive solution versus a band-aid on problems. And a highest good future is the result. Of that and everything you see happening in the background of the video here are the plans that we're creating for this highest good future they're radically sustainable they combine the physical foundations of sustainability with the emotional foundations of sustainability to provide a way of life that most people would consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now and the physical foundations if you're not familiar of course our food energy and housing is a survival foundations you know growing food that is not sprayed with poison you know producing energy that is renewable building houses that are not built with with toxic materials and that are more artistic and beautiful and last longer than current models and then combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability which we've identified and call high good approaches to fulfilled living education economics and stewardship how to take care of all of this and how to open source and free share all of this so that other people that want to live a highest good future have a pathway to doing that that is easy to follow as well. So step-by-step -step instructions, do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living models, the education, the economics, and the stewardship, putting all these things together to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, in the case of one community, focused on this highest good future and creating a pathway for people with shared values and interests to come together and to build themselves a unique, uniquely meaningful life experience that they can share with their friends and family and people that are closest to them and built on a model that the more you share it, the more fun and amazing the environment is, and the more people share it, the more people invite people to participate, the more the environment is designed to thrive and grow and self-propagate and expand and to support the people living there even more. And so this is our idea for a highest good future. It's a future where we're not just poisoning our air and our water, where we're not just being sustainable, but we're living regeneratively, where we're regenerating the destroyed places on our planet, where we are functioning as true stewards of our environments, where we're demonstrating that we are the keystone species capable of consciously and conscientiously managing the shared one shared planet that we have together to create a better world for everyone and to create open source plans and do it yourself instructions for a grassroots movement of of making radical sustainability easy enough affordable enough and demonstrating tra as living this way as attractive enough to spread on its own and so the highest good future that we see is one built on cooperation and collaboration where people have recognized that obviously we do better when we're working together obviously it doesn't make sense for uh, us to battle each other when we have one shared planet 
and we can work together to create that one shared planet in a way that supports everyone when there's already enough resources on this planet to meet the needs of every of, of twice the population that we have right now and yet we aren't because we're not using sustainable methods of growing our food and we're building homes that don't last and building products that don't last and you know where every single person needs to own a land a lawnmower and a blender and everything else that you can think of when the reality of it is is if i just had access to that i wouldn't need to own it as long as i had access to it every time i need it then that resource-based economy mindset would mean that I could have more of the things that I want, better quality versions of the things that I want, replace those things because I would have a whole community working together to maintain those things. And so it actually create creates more access and more availability for me and my friends and my family than if I am competing with everybody around me or feeling that I need individual ownership of those kinds of things. And does it have to be that way? Absolutely not. I know this is one of those things a lot of people are like, whoa, wait a minute, I gotta own my blender. You can own your blender if you want to. You know, in one community models, everybody can own anything that they want. But at the same time, people can also contribute their things to the collaborative model through to the resource-based economy. And once they do, the community takes ownership of that and will replace it if it breaks. So there's an opportunity there for us to share and the things that we have that we can share with people and at the same time now i have something that i don't ever have to worry about replacing it because it's it'll be replaced for me if it breaks and i always have access to it it's the same thing that i had access to before it's just i no longer am the only person that has access and this is one example of cooperation and collaboration you know we have the ability to grow locally produced hormone free herbicide pesticide fungicide free food that is more nutritious and healthier and tastes better and obviously fresher than the food that you can get in the grocery store right now, but we're not. You know, it takes a village to be able to do that if you're gonna do that to really cover the majority of your food needs. You know, we have the ability to produce 100% sustainable energy infrastructure. But again, if you really wanna do that on a large scale, it takes a village to be able to do that. We have the ability to build homes that are artistic and more beautiful than the way that we're living right now that can last hundreds of years. In the case of something like a shipping container village or earth bag construction, you know, and are built without toxic materials and, and are beautiful and designed to last longer and healthier than the way that we're living right now. But it takes a village to create that, you know, and so, one community is designing that highest good future so it's open source, so it's free shared, and we're creating all the step-by-step do-yourself instructions to make all that possible. Because now for the first time in the history of humanity, we have the ability to collaborate globally on something like this and to open source and free share it globally. Never before in the history of humanity have we had the ability to do that and to reach out and have access to the global resources to make that happen, knowledge resources, construction resources, everything else, to be able to really work together as, as a species interested in creating a sustainable civilization, now is the time. And so we want to help create, uh, we want to help get to that critical mass for exponential growth by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating what, what living in this way is attractive enough so that anybody, so that it, so it spreads on its own and making it accessible to everybody so that anybody who wants to live this way can. And so that's, the highest good future that we see and um yeah i mean does that make sense it makes sense right i mean this is this um it's amazingly simple if you really think about it you know if you think about the 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 amount of work and effort that goes into just making a, a modern day motion picture uh the amount of energy and resources that go into something like that we could build multiple one communities for the cost of one movie and we could live that lifestyle. We could create that lifestyle and make it available for everyone so they know exactly how much it's gonna cost, exactly how much labor is involved in it. And so they could take the resources that they have right now with 40 or 50 friends, they could pool their assets and be able to create these versions of highest good living for themselves anywhere in the world. And creating a global cooperation, a cooperation and collaboration of teacher demonstration hubs working together is what one community is all about. So people have more and more options to be able to do this. So this is what we're up to. We're an all-volunteer organization. Happy New Year. This is the highest good future that we're creating. Uh, if you'd like to see exactly what we've done within the last uh, week, visit our, our written blog. We've had over 900 volunteers contribute to our project so far. I think 63 different countries. Um, 
Over 300,000 hours of research and design and development has gone into it. You can see all that on our website. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Like the easiest way to help out, like and subscribe. Uh, stick around for a couple more minutes. You'd like to see bullet points on the all the major components of our project. But you know we're creating step-by-step -step plans for a highest good future and um, this uniquely meaningful life experience that anybody can participate in because we want to live this way, because want other people live this way, and everyone's invited to participate. So with that said, <clears throat> Happy New Year once again, and here's to a high school future. We will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.